All right, Hannah, you uh, second place here, at Virginia A Level 10 State Championships. Just talk a little bit about kind of what's going through your mind, how you feel about it. Um, I was actually not expecting to get second because Beam was my second event and I slid like off my series, and I, w I wasn't expecting that either because when I was going for it, I didn't. I like I thought I was going to land solid, then all of a sudden I was on the ground. So <laughs> after that, I just like. I guess you have like less pressure after you fall because you know that you have nothing to lose anymore. You can just like go for everything and just make it big. And that's kind of what I was thinking. I really wanted to make my floor routine better than last meet, and I did. I got a 9-6 on it, and then after that I was last on ball, and that went pretty well. But I knew like the competition was bigger here, so I didn't think that I was going to get second. But as like they kept like naming the scores, I was like, I could actually like get up there, so I was really happy about that. Well, you talk about enjoying floor, you're 9-6 on floor, you're the state uh, floor champion. Yes. Just talk a little bit about that routine and kind of kind of what's going through your mind during the routine and then being able to win that event. Um, I was actually kind of nervous for my two and a half, my first pass. Usually I can make them pretty consistently, but uh, when I was doing my warm-up, I was a little off, but most of them were still good. So I just knew that like after I made that first pass, that I could just go big and finish strong, and I wanted to stand up my double back more too, and I stuck it, so that was good too. Well, it's been a whirlwind of the last about two years for you. Yeah. Injuries, some gym changes. Uh, you'd been at Spring Hill with your coach, Jing, but Jing decided to retire, uh, headed to IGI. What's it been like at IGI, and how has, how has it helped you as a gymnast, do you think? Um, I loved being at IGI. I started, um, before I went to Spring Hill, I had actually quit gymnastics, so that was kind of hard. I didn't know if I wanted to like come back. So after I moved from Spring Hill when Jing retired, um, the girls have even said when I first came to IGI, I already felt like I was part of their family, and that really encouraged me. And I feel like I can compete better with the team because when I was by myself, it was really nerve-wracking and really hard for me because I'm like a social person. So I love having them there for me. They cheer me on and makes me feel way more confident. Like last year, I was nervous on everything. And I was always shaking, but this year, I just know like they're right behind me and they're helping me the whole way, so I can go for it and make it good. Well, last year, you, you like I said, coming back from injury, uh, you did compete at regionals. It wasn't your best meet, and I know you, you kind of worked through that meet. What did you learn from regionals last year that's definitely going to help you this year as you move there? Um, yeah. Regionals, before that, I had hurt my hip, so regionals was my first full meet competing all of my skills, and I actually fell on floor on my double back, and I missed nationals by five tenths. So that was kind of like a good and a bad for me because I didn't realize that I still had the potential to still get up there because it was my first meet. I just wanted to hit it, you know? And so after I realized how close I was, I was like, I still got this. I can still win and I can still do what I had done before I quit. And I think that's really helping me as I am in this season because I know how high, like my coaches think that I can do and I know how well I can do. And if I just stay confident because I know that I can do it, then I think I'll go for it. And then the last thing is just your goals. What are you looking for? What do you think you need to fine tune and prepare as you head to that regionals in three weeks? Um, in regionals, I want to hit for four. I want to be more confident even more than I was this meet. And I want to go out there and have fun and try to uh, bring in new skills on bars. I want to put my blindfold double back in so I can start at a 10. And um, I just want to really try to make it to nationals this year. I think that would be really fun. Well, Hannah, congratulations. Second place. Thank you. Rough couple years. Starting to put it together. Good luck at regionals. Thank you.